Design automation. Anything that makes a digital design process easier, either for current design needs or for future editing, can be considered a form of design automation. For the purposes of this class, we'll categorize different forms of design automation into two generalized categories, the basics and beyond the basics. The basics will be introduction design automation, and these are things that you should already know and be doing. We'll then expand upon the basics and talk about intermediate design automation techniques. Keyboard shortcuts and modifiers are a form of automation that can be used in a variety of graphic arts software applications to speed up the digital design process. A keyboard shortcut is applied when a key or multiple keys are pressed to activate an action. A keyboard modifier is used when a key or multiple keys are pressed in combination with a mouse click. Keyboard shortcuts and modifiers can vary from program to program and between Macs and PCs. However, in most cases, certain keys can be swapped from a Mac to a PC easily to use the same keyboard shortcut or modifier. For example, on a Mac, we tend to use the command key and the option key. The equivalent on a PC will always be the control key instead of the command key and the alt key instead of the option key. There are a number of keyboard shortcuts and keyboard modifiers that you can use in InDesign. I've listed them all on this slide, not in an attempt for you to memorize all of them, um, but for you to see how many they are and allow you to start experimenting with them. Some of them work across many different platforms. So Command A or Control A on a PC is something that works in every software program on the internet. It will always select all. Command C, copy. Um, Command X is cut. Command Z is always undo. There are certain things that are consistent. Command O is open. Command N is create a new document. Command P is print. Command Q is quit. So you can start to practice those ones. However, there are some that are specific to InDesign. For example, Command D is place. If you want to add an image to your document and you don't want to move your cursor all the way up to the top left-hand corner, grab the file menu, scroll down to place, you can hit Command D. But if you were in Photoshop, Command D would deselect whatever you have selected with the selection tool. And so take it with a grain of salt. I don't require students to memorize all the different keyboard shortcuts because they are different for all different programs. But find the ones that work for you and then start to apply them to increase the efficiency of your workflow. Not all keyboard shortcuts require multiple keystrokes. In the Adobe programs, if you hit one letter, it will generally switch the tool that you have selected via the tools panel. And in InDesign, these are the presets for the different letters of the alphabet. If you select H, it will jump to the hand tool, which will allow you to click and pan throughout your document. If you press the P tool, it will allow you to switch to the pen tool, or R will rotate. However, this only works if you do not have an active text selection. So if your text cursor is blinking and you type a P, you will type the letter P. But if you have any other tool selected besides the type tool, it will allow you to jump back and forth between the different tools. I really like having keyboard shortcuts that allow me to zoom in on my artwork when I'm working on it and zoom out pretty quickly. A lot of these you should already know from the introductory InDesign class, but if you don't, you should start to memorize these ones in particular. Command plus or minus will zoom in or out on your workspace, and that works in all the Adobe programs. If you add a, uh, if you use the bracket key, so command or control right and left bracket, it will move the object that you currently have selected back and forth within your design. If you add a shift to that, it'll become a hard command. So command shift right bracket will send all of your uh, selection all the way to the front of the layout. And if you hit command shift left bracket, it will send it all the way to the back. It becomes a hard command when you add the shift. And then one that I don't cover in the introductory InDesign class, but I think is really helpful. Um, if you do command option or control option on a PC and the right and left bracket, it will move your selection throughout your design, moving it backward and forward throughout. So if you had 10 circles on your design and you select the first one, command, um, sorry, yeah, command option right bracket will move the selection to the next circle forward. It will leave the current selection, move it forward and grab the next circle. And command option 
left bracket will move your active selection back and forth. So if you're having trouble grabbing something that's at the back of the design and you can't figure out how to get to it without locking a bunch of shapes, you can always do command option left bracket and it will keep selecting different objects moving backwards in your design.